From testimonials and personal experience, we have enough information to conclude that it's possible to design and live an extraordinary life. What's up, YouTube? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I am Shanika Lawrence. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here with me. Hey, you guys can always come here for inspiration, encouragement, strategies in business, and for general lifestyle in Christ. I hope that something is said or that something of value is given to you in your life. I'm coming to you with another video today. Grow from where you are. Yes, grow from where you are. Don't just remain the same. Don't just stay in the same place that you've always been in. Don't just allow life to be a redundant, repetitive, robotic thing that you're doing every day and you have no inspiration, no motivation, no discipline to cultivate and cause it to grow. John chapter 12 verse 24 says, unless a seed or a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it will bring forth much fruit. What does that mean? Have you ever heard of the saying that if you keep your life, you will lose it. And if you lose your life, you will gain it. One of the realities of the kingdom of God is that life springs forth from death. What that means is that you must be willing to put down and to sacrifice and to lay aside everything that holds you back from being your best self at all times. It's hard because many times those things are ingrained in us. Our habits are something that we have been doing for years. We have not yet learned or put ourselves in the environment to be able to brush off some of those old habits. And so we're continuing to do the same things over and over again. But like the Bible says, unless we are willing to die for a season, put your head down like they say, you won't be seen. It's a little dark down there, it's wet, and it might be a little uncomfortable, but you have to be okay going through that process of death. Death to yourself, death to old habits, death to the traditional ways of doing things. See, the truth about a tree is that it was a seed before it even became a tree. But before that seed could even transform into a tree, the seed had to be okay with no longer being a seed. He had to leave the state of being a seed to begin the process of growth into a tree. But if he never gave up his identity at that moment of being a seed and being comfortable with being a seed and saying that, well, my time will come, instead of just making the decision to go into the ground and allow itself to germinate into a tree, then it would be alone. It would just be the seed itself. But now as a tree, it has flourished into something that has bared fruit for the neighbors, for the fowls of the air, for the people that would come by. It bears much fruit. And so this is what we should desire out of our lives, to be able to be in a position to bear fruit because our fruit is not just for ourselves. It is not just for you know our family, but our fruit even stems out into those around us, into our friends' lives, into our extended family lives into our coworkers' lives, into our partners' lives, and into the lives of those who are in need of what God has placed inside of us. So when I say grow beyond where you are, I literally mean that where you are right now is the perfect place for you to make a decision and make a change. You know, earlier this year, something so dramatic happened to me in my life. I was um, in a car accident with my family, and it was me, my husband, my two-year-old daughter, my 10-year-old son. We were all in the car, we were headed home, and we were going through a red light. Someone pulled in front of us, and we ended up hitting each other, and the car was total. But thankfully, thankfully to God, Everyone was okay besides minor bruises and scratches. We all came out alive. I was so thankful for that. But there was something that it taught me. You know, I just believe that it was one of those challenging moments that really opened my eyes to some things that I had been maybe just oblivious to or just, you know, hopefully or happily running past 
and not really paying attention to. I realized that, you know, my time was so valuable. I realized that, you know, even though life is such a beautiful thing and it is an incredible thing, it is because it is a beautiful thing that we should not take the time that we have for granted. And so I realized that I don't have time to waste. And I looked back and I saw all the time I was wasting on just hanging out too much or, you know, not working on my goals, not learning new skills, not reading as much as I could. I just realized that, you know, there was some things that I had the opportunity to do, but it was all being wasted. It was all being wasted on these things that just were not serving me in my life. And I realized that I needed to grow beyond where I currently was. Now, that wasn't even that long ago, but I can tell you that ever since that moment, I mean, literally the drive to the hospital and home from the hospital, it just, my whole life was completely changed. And I have been able to do things and learn things and implement things and teach things that have been life changing for not only myself, but those around me. And I'm so thankful to be in this position, but I'm telling you this because some of us don't always have those experiences to put us in that really quick shift of mind. But you know, we all have a decision. We all have choices um, that we can make and we all have to make an assessment of where we are. The best way to really currently figure out how you can go from where you are to the next level is just to make an assessment where are you now? What kind of things do you think that you are doing today that is really helping you get to your goals? Do you even have goals? How do you feel about yourself today? And I think that like, you know, when you take the time out to really try to understand yourself a little bit better, that you can really, you know, give yourself the awareness that you need. Because I think what it was, was for me, I was asleep. You know, I was like not woke. I was sleeping on myself. I was sleeping on my skills. I was sleeping on my gifts. And, you know, it was only because I think, you know, over time I just lost the fire. You know, you sometimes you lose the fire for whatever reason. Some things happen in your life. Some you know, circumstances take place and you just lose the fire. But, you know, you have to remember there are specific things that we have been placed on this earth to do. And we can only do that when we grow, when we decide to die to our old selves, when we take up our cross and follow Christ. And when the Bible talks about following Christ, of course, when you follow Christ, you follow Christ, not only spiritually, but in your actions, you follow Christ. And I think that many people take that from this spiritual re religious thing and they don't implement. They kind of look to the Bible for something to know or something to prove versus something to do. But remember that Jesus Christ was a master teacher. He taught us how we should live our lives. He taught us how we should do the things that are going to um, get us to those next levels. And of course, when his hand is on your life, there is nothing that can stop you or nothing that can hold you back from reaching the thing that he has already said that you'd be able to reach but he can't work in a situation where we're not even um, also working or we're not even putting our hands to something and I don't think that I was giving Christ something to work with like you know let's be honest can you say today that you're giving Christ something to work with are you wasting your time or are you putting the time in are you really taking the time out to implement the Word of God because the, the Bible says that the Word of God came among us and it became flesh so when it becomes your flesh it's almost in everything that you do God is our creator so it's like you you have no choice but to be a creator you have no choice but to create things from other things you have no choice but to connect with other people like Christ connects and you have no choice but to contribute just like Christ was contributed to our entire world to our entire race for salvation we have no choice but to contribute to add those things into our lives when we are truly becoming the flesh of God when we're allowing the Word of God to become our flesh when we're allowing that to be our spirit and you know that is what is really gonna take to die to ourselves we always think that we know what's best or we always think that we know you know the way already but if that was the case then wouldn't you already be doing those things? Wouldn't you already be where you would like to be? 
If not, then you must take an assessment and say, what is going on? What do I need to change? How do I go from here? Not just go from here, but how do you grow from here? You grow from here by learning. You grow from here by unlearning. You grow from here by making a decision that life will not be the same, that every day you will continue to push. There is a saying from the book, Instant Millionaire. He says, I am getting better and better every day in every way. Continue to repeat that to yourself, that I am getting better and better in every way, every single day. My day today will not be like it was yesterday. It will be better. My day tomorrow will not be like it was today. It will be better because there will be more that I have learned. There will be more that I have put my hand to. There will be more time that I have utilized and not wasted. Don't waste your time. Don't allow your fear or your insecurity or your doubt to keep you from that ground that fertile ground that is gonna cause you to grow. And remember, yes, it might be scary, and yes, it might be lonely even, but it's gonna have a huge network. It's gonna have a huge network, and it's gonna be able to contribute to the world again. So I just wanted to encourage you guys today to grow from where you are. Don't allow your circumstances, don't allow people around you to keep you in the same routine that you've always been in. It is time for us to move forward. It is time for us to see beyond where we are, even if we can't see it, to at least move beyond where we are because nothing's gonna change in your life until you change. Until you make the change, nothing else in your life is going to change. That is a promise. The Bible says that if that branch doesn't bear fruit, it's broken off and thrown into the fire. So it's like you either better grow or you're not gonna be of any use. And we cannot afford to remain the same. We cannot afford to remain in the same place and just expect things to just magically change for us. We have to be intentional about the things that we do and we have to decide to leap forth into the ground of the soil of life and just begin to allow it to germinate. No matter how long it takes, sometimes it might take a few years, sometimes it might take even 10 years, but for the amount of time that it's gonna take, it's gonna pass anyway. So you might as well be growing in that time that's gonna pass regardless. You will arrive indeed in 10 years, but the question is, where will you arrive? And let me submit to you that you will arrive as this great tree, like Psalms 1 and 1 says, like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Its leaves also shall not wither and everything that it does shall prosper. In 10 years, you will be just like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water. In Jesus' name, I pray that for you and I bless God for you guys so much. I thank you guys so much for watching again. I love you and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.